Thank you, Ted. A Target 12 investigation leading to action at the State House. A bill just proposed in the General Assembly is related to an investigation we conducted in the fall about sex offenders. And now an East Providence lawmaker has pitched a change that could impact certain sex offenders who live in motels. Target 12 investigator Walpy Toe joins us now live in studio with the details. We checked the sex offender registry today and there are now two sex offenders living in two different motels in the state. That's down from six in three different motels that Target 12 discovered in the fall. And an East Providence lawmaker would like that number down to zero. Mr. Green? Roger Green talked with Target 12 briefly in the fall about living at this North Kingstown motel. Like I say, I'm no threat to anybody. Green, who is a level three sex offender, is still registered as living in the same motel. According to the sex offender registry, level three offenders are at a high risk to reoffend. The proposed law could impact Green and other level three sex offenders who want to live in motels long term. A lot of families. Lot East of Providence Representative Catherine Kazarian is concerned about other motel guests not knowing that sex offenders are living near them. She's also talked with homeowners and renters who live near motels with sex offenders in them. She's co-sponsoring a bill that would give innkeepers the power to remove a level three sex offender who tries to remain a resident for more than 30 consecutive days. 30 days we thought would be a good amount of time they, they would be able to find other housing. We don't want it to be a permanent residence. We want it to be a temporary thing. As reported by Target 12, a motel in Kazarian's district had a level two sex offender living there. He has since relocated. Kazarian tells us the residents who live near that East Providence motel came to her hoping she could find a way to make sure other sex Sex offenders do not make the motel their long-term home. It's a lot of families, a lot of young families, and they're really scared. They're really concerned. The chairperson of the parole board was unavailable to comment on the proposed law change. The proposed bill is not yet scheduled for a committee hearing. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Walt. The Target 12 investigators are always looking to uncover news. If you want to send a tip or report government waste, call our tip line 228-1763 or email us at target12 at wpri.com.